Hello, my name is Sergio Dalam, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the changes in Micron Framework 4 regarding JSON serialization. I have here three sample applications. One is uh, built with Micron 3, and then I have uh, a Micron 4 application, uh, both with Gradle and Maven. Uh, let me show you the sample application, which is extremely simple. I have a record uh, called book with one field uh, named title. And then I have a book controller, which will return a JSON array uh, of books. So I have here a list of books and I am returning two uh, books that uh, have been written so far uh, around Micron. Uh, and then I have a test, uh, which um, is a class in the test class path annotated with micro test that will start the server. I am injecting a micronaut uh, HTTP client uh, as a method parameter to this test. I'm getting the blocking one and then I'm just sending a request against the root of my application and checking that uh, I am getting like a JSON array. Um, so pretty simple test. I can execute it and uh, the test will pass. And let me show you the dependencies of the application, which are also pretty minimal. So this is a micronaut. Uh, Three application is actually a Micronaut uh, 393 application. Uh, I have only here defined uh, Logma Classic, yes, a runtime only dependency, and the uh, Micro HTTP client, which I just showed you that I was using it uh, in the test class path. Uh, I have here the same application with uh, Micronaut 4, so you see here the same uh, minimal number of dependencies. This is using uh, already the Micronaut Gradle plugin uh, version 4. And I am here using the Micronaut uh, 4 Milestone 4. Um, <clears throat> and if I now run the test here, the test will fail. And I want to show you the error because I want uh, for you to uh, think about this video when you see this error. So uh, if you see an error such as this, in your application when you are upgrading to Micron 4, uh, like talking about uh, missing a bin of type JSON mapper, that's because you don't have a, a required selection for JSON serialization. And uh, why did it work in Micron 3? And in Micron 3 it worked because uh, we were adding automatically uh, since the first version of Micron. Uh, we have had a dependency called Micronaut Jackson Data Bind. So JSON serialization was powered in Micronaut uh, thanks to Jackson. Uh, and we were using like Jackson Data Bind um, to power the serialization. And that dependency, that transitive dependency is no longer there. So if you want to have that, uh, you can just add the dependency here. So I can go here and do my implementation and I can do io.micronaut Micronaut Jackson Data Bind. And if I now run my test again, they will pass. So if you want to keep using a uh, Jackson data bind, uh, you can. Uh, in MyCode 4, you are going to have to add the Micro Jackson data bind dependency. However, we have another option for serialization. We have a module called Micro Serialization, which was introduced uh, in Micronaut 3.3. So it has been around for a while. and. Uh, you can use it as a, almost as a drop-in replacement. I will show you what you have to do, but uh, it's a serialization uh, which uh, leverages uh, some of the uh, build-time uh, computation that Micron does. So you're going to have to add this dependency. So the group ID is serde, and you're going to have to add an annotation processor. So you're going to have to add the serde processor here. And then you're going to have to add also the, in this case, we are serializing um, JSON. So I'm going to add here, serve the Jackson. And if I run a test, it will fail, but I will show you why it's failing. So it fails, it tells me uh, error encoding object book. Uh, and if I scroll to the right, it's telling me no serializable introspection present for type book. Micron has a uh, one annotation called add introspected, which will generate, generate at build time uh, meta information about how to instantiate the class uh, without using reflection. Uh, and Micron serialization uh, has another annotation called servable, which you can uh, use to whitelist uh, the classes that are still realizable by micro serialization. So micro serialization is a bit more secure 
uh, than JSON data bind by default in the sense that you have to opt in in which classes would you like to be serializable. So I, I have to have here to my record and annotate it with at searchable. Let me just uh, click here the Gradle refresh button so that I am able to resolve the import. And now if I execute my test again, the test will pass. My code serializable is a bit more, um, you can uh, decide that, for example, you want a type to be only uh, serializable, but not deserializable. So in my case, I, I, for example, in this particular case, I just need it to be serializable. I don't need it to be deserializable as well. So this will fulfill the test as well. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is that Serdable is uh, adds that introspective annotation. So this is an annotation which builds on top of that introspective. So your Serdable classes are uh, introspective by default. So uh, when you want to render a JSON in a MyCode 4 application, uh, you can use either uh, io.micronaut, MyCode Jackson data bind, or you have to use the uh, Serdable, the MyCode serialization. Uh, annotation and that's basically adding an annotation processor the my code share the processor and then an annotation to your main class path and then you have to uh, select the classes that you like to um, serialize and annotate with that searchable and if you are thinking uh, that sounds fine uh, but i would like to keep using the jackson uh, annotations those are compatible with micro serializations you can you can use the my code uh, the, not the micro, the Jackson annotations uh, with micro serialization as well. So one of the, or at least 99% of the uh, Jackson annotations. So one of the most common one, for example, is JSON property. And I could change, for example, I want this property when it's rendered as JSON, I want to be as book title. And I can use, you see, this is the annotation for Jackson. So you see the Jackson package there. So if I run my test, my test will fail because I was expecting uh, it to be title and now it's going to be book title. So if I go here, it says expected title and uh, we are probably getting like a book title now. So I could fulfill the test um, using here book title. So as you see, it's quite an um, easy transition from uh, micro Jackson data binding to micro serialization. New applications in micro launch are uh, being generated using uh, micro serialization by default. Um, so uh, we encourage users to try micro serialization, see if it fulfills your needs. Uh, we have uh, an episode of the micro podcast where we talk more about uh, what is micro serialization and what are the advantages. Uh, so check it out uh, if you want to learn more. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to show in this video is uh, that you can use uh, the same uh, micro serialization in, in, in Maven. So I have here a Maven application, same. I have the book controller, the book my test if i run here uh, maven verify it will fail right and it will fail with the same error that i was telling you about uh, json mapper so if you see this uh, json mapper i want you to remember okay this is the video from where sergio told me that uh, i have to select uh, which json serialization strategy i want to use either a uh, michael jackson data line or a uh, michael serialization so i'm going to fulfill the test first uh, using a uh, micro Jackson data bind. So if I go here to my pom.xml and I go to the dependencies block, I can add here a dependency and the group ID is going to be uh, io.micronode because that's uh, micro Jackson data bind. This is still in the micro core uh, GitHub project uh, and this is going to be micro Jackson data bind. I don't need to specify the version because that's in the uh, micro bill of materials. So if I now run uh, verify again, the test uh, should pass. And they do. And if I want to use a uh, micro serialization in my Maven application, I want to use here uh, the micronaut share the Jackson dependency. And I, rem I have to provide also the micro uh, share the processor in the annotation processor path. So this in my pond.xml here, uh, I can add my uh, annotation processor here. So I'm going to uh, copy paste um, the MyCode share the processor here. If you select a uh, Maven as your built in micro launch, uh, you will see that this is generated for you. So that's another way of uh, you don't have to remember this. You just can uh, look at the application that we generate and copy 
into your applications, if I run Maven Verified, will fail. The solution is going to be uh, for us to add the acceptable annotation to book. So same as we did in the Gradle application, I can do here searchable. And if I now uh, run Maven Verify again, the test will pass. There you go. So two ways, uh, one using a uh, Michael Jackson data bind, the other using my consideration. When you are using micro you are going to have to opt in with the acceptable annotation or the certain import annotation to import uh, classes that are not in your project uh, and make them serializable. Um, new applications use uh, micro If for whatever reason you want to continue using micro Jackson data bind, you can. Um, so again, you choose uh, whatever your preferred JSON serialization strategy is, and hopefully this will make your transition from Micron 3 to Micron 4 uh, smooth. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you soon about uh, new changes in Micron 4. Thank you.